September the 17th, 2013, I've had some individuals ask me about our misting system for our rooting plants. So what I'd like to do is just explain to you what I did as far as making one. It wasn't complicated and it's pretty much whatever you, however you design your boxes in order for you to be able to spray your plants. Rule of thumb is that you want to be approximately 3 foot, 36 inches above your plants because the object, there you go, it just came on. The object is not to douse the plants with water. The object is just to mist the, the outside of them while they're forming some roots. What I did is I ran some half inch PVC from my water source. I put a main shutoff valve on the bottom in the event that we have to cut the water off. Came up to a 24 volt DC low voltage relay. And then I put a T at the top. And the reason I put a T at the top is because we have two boxes. This particular box right now is empty. We're not, we don't have it loaded up yet. So I don't have any reason to put any water on that end of the greenhouse. This particular end right here, we have plants in here that were cut and rooted in July of 2013. And the last 500 on this end right here were rooted in August of 2013. But I simply took PVC and formed a arm sticking out. Now the reason I did it up in the air like that, I found last year I had them level when the valves cut off the water that's left in the pipe has a tendency of running out of the pipe and then when your valve turns on it takes a few take maybe a second for the uh, pipe to fill up with water and then that'll shorten your misting time so I keep it up in the air like this so water is actually sitting here in the pipe and then when they come on as you saw they, they do a misting onto the onto the plants I had an individual want to know what the progress was of our brooding and like I stated the O'Neill's, the Powder Blues and the Brightwell's were cut in July of 2013 as you can see they've gone dormant or in the process of going dormant and then the premieres which are these right here were cut in August and those are the actual plants that were part of the video that I had made that you can see online. So let's look and see how the roots are doing on this particular variety right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach down very carefully and take a plant out. We'll take, we'll take one with some good growth on it right here and we'll gently pull it out and look at it. And as you can see it's forming some roots on the base of it put it back in the ground. The uh, Brightwells, let's see how they're doing. We'll take this one out and just kind of loosen the soil up around it so you don't break the roots. You can take your finger and go up underneath it and loosen it up. Pull it out. You can see they're forming roots. We'll put it back in this little hole. Now, another question that was asked to me is, how do you put them in pots? What I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose one of my plants and put it in a pot just to show you. Now, what we do is we take a chipper and we chip up our bark so that our bark is pretty, pretty fine. And we use 100% pine bark. We don't use any sand mixtures or anything. We use 100% pine bark. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pot and put some soil in it. So I'll be right back with that. Alrighty, let me see the pot. What we've done is we've taken a about a one gallon, maybe three quarter gallon pot and we've put some bark in it. We're going to come over here and we're going to take a plant we're going to put it in it. Now all the plantings that we do here at Happy Acres Farm are done in the winter time. We wait for the plants to go completely dormant and then we'll plant them. We'll take them from the pots from the nursery and we'll plant them so that we haven't got to worry about any kind of shock. Now these are O'Neill's. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find an O'Neill and just take it out. And let's see, we'll just pick this one right here. This is a pretty one. I'm just going to take my finger and go down underneath the roots. Kind of loosen it up a little bit as you can see. I'm just loosening it up. And then I'm going to pull it out slowly so I don't damage the roots on it. 
you can see it's got roots started on it right not there not a lot of roots but it's got roots started on it let's pick another one that may have a little bit more roots on it and again they normally sit in the greenhouse a little bit longer than this before you put them in a plant or I'm sorry in a pot let me pull some of these up and look that's just got a few on it that one. Oh, we'll look at it here's one it's got some good roots you can see it's got some roots on it there I right, set the pot up here if you would okay. what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply make a little hole right here what do you think? set it down in there about an inch or so and just take the bark mulch and put around it As you can see, I've got a little bit of help this morning. Now, that's all you do. However, you got to keep it wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it. We have some overspray from the sprayers. And I'm just going to set it there. And come springtime, we're going to be doing it about 1,500 more times because we've got these plants to come in there. Alrighty, we'll see you in the spring.